We got Slap Rock the King. Get right into the show. Um, I want to give a shout out to everybody that's behind the scenes. Give a shout out to my engineer, Linnea. Linnea, what's up? Yeah. yeah. Linnea is a creep on the low. Just letting y'all know that. I'm getting closer to her. They don't know what she's doing. Hector, I'm Hector is our camera guy. Hector, what's up? You good? Yeah. Make sure you get Hector. Make sure you get all the tickets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, so listen, we're going to get right into the show. Um, once again, we are glad and happy and really appreciative that all you guys came out. Um, this is our first live podcast, and this will not be the, the last one, but we really appreciate you guys coming out. It's hard to get black people to come out on the weekend, let alone a weekday down South Street where the parking is crazy. So by you guys coming out here and showing that you, you really got love for us and you really got love for what we're doing, so we really appreciate that. Now y'all can clap for yourself, you know, if you want. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get the show started. You know what? This is not on our notes, but I, I, I knew I was gonna have to freestyle something. We gotta give it up to the North Philly legend. Y'all know who the North Philly legend is? Who is the North Philly legend? Because don't fit me. Who is Saul. it? Saul. Oh. oh. It's Saul T. Saul made $40,000. She made forty thousand dollars in like four or five days off that season. Wow. Show. Really? And she, she owed thirty thousand, so she got ten to play with. <laughs> <laughs> so she was able to pay the government back. Good job, they got their money. Saul is a listen legend. I, I mean, <laughs> she was keep calling her listen legend. Like, <laughs> Listen, I'm, like, I'm not saying I don't like her, but I'm just happy she can pay the people. Q, you the best. You the best. You the best. You. We heard you. We know. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to say salt, but it's all good. Why you don't like salt? I'm not saying I don't like her, but I just. I had an experience with her, I told you. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was very rude. Yeah, no. And I was like, you just doing this for the photo. I right, thought, no, saw it is really rude. Really she had, you know, she did my girlfriend daughter prom. Our, the daughter wasn't, you know, she wasn't ready because the, the makeup artist was late. Cool. She's like, well, she not coming downstairs. No, no she's not. She's not coming downstairs. Your girl was late, so you better go upstairs and take the picture. She had to come downstairs. I need my photo. It's not about the photo op. Is it about the little girl or is it about the is it about you? Right. Like which one is it? Maybe. No. So that was my only thing that brought me wrong. Like she was a little rude. But I mean, listen, she does a lot. I appreciate what she did do, but I feel like she needs to just be a little bit more humble when you meet her in person. Mm -hmm. She's from she's from North Philly, man. That's how they get that. That's how they get that. I'm from North Philly too, so I don't I don't know why y'all was laughing at me. <laughs> I mean, I am. I'm, I'm, not shot I'm not from there, but I stay here. Oh, you here. from? Oh, yeah. Why is from North? But you from like yes. the upper North. I'm from oh, Jersey. I'm from the suburbs. I'm from the suburbs. Listen, I had a job. 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 I had a swing. I had a tree house. I had a job. 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 She <laughs> <laughs> made it seem like she was from like the central central New Jersey. She and it was from Jersey. Jersey. I live in a cul de sac. I live in a cul de sac. Do y'all even know what a cul de sac is? Yeah. 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 All right, y'all, so we, we gonna ask everybody in here a question, but it's, it's all gonna be at the same time. This, this is something that we uh, fought back and forth about, so we wanna see what everybody says, and I, I know y'all probably seen this before, so it's called One Has to Go. You have to pick one guy. One has to go, right? And um, so, we pick black love movies. All right, so here is the first one. Love Jones. 
Love and basketball. Poetic justice. Yeah. Or boomerang. Which one gotta go? Boomerang. <laughs> Everybody always used to this day. Same one. Right, give me a Marcus. Marcus, you strange. People don't use that. Herbie! Herbie! You got to coordinate. Oh, you heard what she said? Shut up! I heard you. I did. Alright, alright, alright. This 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 gonna be a this gonna be a tough one. This gonna be a tough one. This gonna be a tough one. Alright, DJ Q, you ready, right? Hold on. I got you, my bad. One R and B group has to go. Ladies! Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright. One RB group has to go. One twelve. No. Oh, hold on. Don't say that. 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 Drew Hill or Jodeci? Which one got to go? Oh, I don't know if I want to say Drew Hill. I don't know if I want to say Drew Hill. Which
Bring the book. Get the jersey. He's saying to myself. Everybody, everybody that thinks jealousy got to get off the list, when you raise your hand, get the fuck out. Get No, no, no. Before we do the music break, why, why, uh, why? Shout them out! Before we, we go to our break, I just like to say thank you to our sponsors. We got Right Click Agency that did all the marketing for this. We got to give them a major shout out. Where we do our thing at now. Ow, the, ow, ow. Love Nail. Jones, the delicious wine that you guys are oh, sipping on. If you haven't oh, got any, make sure y'all get some. Driver. Hey, listen, I don't know if y'all know. I don't know if she told y'all, but the wine is organic and it's fifty percent alcohol. Yeah. Red, white, and green. Keep drinking. I was like, all this lovely. When I first had, I was like, this is the world. Right here. Right here. Right here. And, and the vision venue we're rehearsing today. Thank you all for your sponsorship. We appreciate you. And if you're interested, inside your gift bags, we have our sponsorship packages also for future sponsorships. We are welcoming you all to. Thank you. So, with that being said, uh, we're going to take a quick break, a music break. break. Then we're going to come back to a, 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 a letter. Wine got a juicy ass letter for us. And we're going to. Oh, what am I going to do? All right, so we, after Wine read the letter, we're going to ask. Certain people to come up to respond to it, and we gonna see. I don't know what the fuck the letter is about. So, um, once again, we thank everybody for coming. We're right here, on Water Ice Radio, Unsister Podcast. We'll be right back, y'all. Okay, guys, can you all hear me back there in the back? Yeah. I just want to make sure that I'm speaking loud enough. Yeah. Yes. So I'm getting ready to read this letter to y'all. If y'all ready for it? Read the letter. <laughs> Hello all, I feel ambivalent about a situation between myself and one of my best friends. <laughs> I tried to skip past it before slam I don't know what the fuck that means. But you had to be the one. Sorry, I'm like, I didn't dictionary. I was sipping I tried to go real fast. What? What? Confused? I feel ambivalent. Wait, who said you over there? Who said that? You? Alright, I need my context clues. Context clues. <laughs> My nigga, he used big words for no fucking reason. <laughs> About the, a situation between myself and one of my best friends. Today is her college graduation, and of course she's having a get-together to celebrate. As her best friend, I want to go to support her, but my boyfriend, on the other hand, is really opposed to going. I own a small online boutique, and this, and this best friend has never once liked, commented, shared, bought, promoted or anything with the pages and I and what I post for. I know she sees the post because before she sent me images of a sweater saying, this is so cute, don't you have something similar? My boyfriend thinks that was her way of saying, I know I have similar clothing, but I'm not shopping with this brand. I'm shopping with this other brand instead. And she has promoted other friends that we have who have knitted hats and stuff. So I totally see how and why he thinks my friend is not a good friend. He says, if she can't support me, I don't need to support her. Should I be holding it against my best friend that she doesn't like, comment, share, or anything to support my business page? So in this instance, you guys are our guests, so we're going to let you answer these questions for us. So you got to pick somebody to come up and answer the questions. Do anybody oh, I mean, have an answer for it? No, just randomly pick somebody. They gotta oh, come well, what do you need to support? I just think that she needs to have communication with her friends. Like, how do you be mad at your friend without even talking to a person? Right. Yeah, that's I true. Agree. I have a conversation. I like that. We grown. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 already know. <laughs> Space ready. Right, because you know you got your businesses. Yeah. Yo, it's a lot of people. You know, like, we do, you know, we do the acting thing or whatever. We do all kinds of stuff, all kinds of things. And you can't be friends with people to leverage your friendship into a commodity one day. Your friendship is your love. It's an emotion. It's a thing. And then the reality is, what if she like knitted hats and shit? What if she <laughs> <laughs> But if, if it's your friend, 
I ain't gonna back damn, I don't like your shit. It's just like, I'm not grabbing it. I don't know what she said, I ain't seen it, it might be lit. But what I'm saying is, like, I don't know, like, you don't want to tell your friend, don't do the thing, because I ain't really rocking with it. But it's like, it, it, at the end, I, I understand the boyfriend position, but she got to be resolute in just a friendship and deal with it as a friend. If she wants to address it, be a friend and address it. Don't be an entitled brat and address it. And her boyfriend want her to embrace the enti entitled brat sort of motif. And I don't think that's the way to go about... Uh, I don't think that's the way to go about kind of nurturing friendship. Alright, we got one more, then we gonna, um, then we gonna answer. I would say first, that's not your best friend. Because if that was your best friend, if your stuff is corny, I'm still supporting you. I'm still gonna post you. I don't like your little shoes in the head, quite like in the head, I'm not gonna be But I'm still posting just like rappers. Yeah, people don't work. But I'm gonna still say, oh, go to this show. He was food, nasty as shit. But I'm gonna say, oh, nah, don't say me to the That you should go to the graduation party, but you should also have also have a conversation with your friends and let her know how you feel about that, and not be holding back all of these private pillow talk conversations that you have with your boyfriend about how you feel. Because maybe she doesn't know. Maybe she doesn't know you feel like that. Maybe in some weird way she thinks she she is supporting you. So go ahead on, girl, and go to that graduation party. Well. I here, here's, here's my thing. I think you should support your friend. <laughs> Bitch, you're only. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, here's, here's my thing. I feel like when people, when you have a business, yes, you're not going to be everywhere. You're not going to come to everything. Right. But you should support me in some way, some fashion. But I also agree in the communication part. Like, I don't know that you feel this way if you don't tell me. So to not show up at my graduation, I would be like, well, bitch, what happened? And I would say that. So I think there needs to be some type of communication. The boyfriend is not being messy, but he is bringing light onto a situation. Mm -hmm. But it needs to be communicated, not just don't show up. Right. But I think what's a bigger situation is if your friend's shit is not decent, mm -hmm. tell them. Yeah. Don't yes. have them out there with some nasty ass right. food. Don't have them out there with some music that's corny. Mm -hmm. Like, baby, want to try a different avenue? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're really good at this. Like, support them. Like, see, see, I really like these knitted hats. No, he's on your website. Right, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I feel like it's a mix of communication and still supporting because I feel like for me, like, it's hard for me. Like, when we was doing this, we like, damn, I got to tell people this shit is hard. Like, the fuck? Like, doing the groundwork for your business is hard. So you do want people to be in your corner and support you. But don't expect them to always be there and do everything for you. Like, they can... Like a picture, you don't have to buy my shit, you might not be able to fit it. Like, it's a, it might be level two, you know what I mean? But there is some support that needs to come with it because you need at least a support system. Yeah, right. And a best friend, if you come to my graduation, that means you got a ticket, that means that shit costs something, that means you're a best friend. That means you should, at some point, support me in some way. But I would not not show up. I probably would go and then, in some form, have a conversation later. Like, listen, this is how I feel moving forward. They were still taking that shit in. It was a lot. But no, you know, I, I agree with both of you. I, I know. That doesn't really happen all the time. Right, because I thought you were going to buy her fucking. No, no. Um, as, a, as a best friend, you know, like you said, if your best friend shit ain't right. You know what? It's hard for people to even tell their best friend or just a friend the truth like, girl, that shit don't look right. A lot of y'all let y'all girlfriends walk outside looking not fucked me. up. Not, not me. me. Not, not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Go outside looking I'm fucked up. I'm about to be like, this. Instead of just saying, yo, bro, you can't get that shit off. Like, okay. It's okay. Right. You can't get off if you're good. Okay. Let me know if these are my way to something. Y'all don't got out my fucking tree. Lace front door, the first one Wendy outside. What's the call? The wig? See, listen, they hate me because I got a wig ripper 3000 under my wig. And it worked. It didn't work one day. Don't tell them the story. I'm not, alright, so I'm. You have to, 
if you got a best friend, like you said, if it's funny or not, even if I bring it to your attention, like, yo, this shit ain't right, but when you're talking to your best friend, whether this shit is corny or not, at the end of the day, your best friend, that, that that's a stamp, that should mean a lot. So even, I, my cousin has, he's, he has like a, 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 a vodka sponsor. I don't drink vodka at all. Kiki vodka, I don't drink that shit at all. But it's my cousin's shit. I'm still gonna share, post, and tell other people about it. Cause and buy me about I'm not the only one that drink fucking dark liquor. You know what I'm saying? I know people that drink um, vodka. So at the end of the day, it's all about, you know, the, the label you give that individual. If, if you are my best friend, I, I, I need to treat you as such. Just because it's corny, like, we got corny best friends. We <laughs> <laughs> don't got corny best friends. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop being my friend. As long as, as, long as I'm, I'm bringing the corny situation to your attention, that counts as me being a friend. Like, girl, that shit is fucked up. Don't wear it. If you still want to wear it, I did my part on being a friend. Yeah, okay, you're right. Telling your dumb ass not to wear the dumb shit. I did my part. What, what else What else could I do? You so, so, spoke on it. All so, night you got to keep busting on them. Uh, well, I mean that's what I'm gonna do regardless. Right so, I mean go to go go to the graduation and the, the boyfriend was looking out. I mean that's his job. He's supposed he's supposed to do that. Um I don't really know about the knitted hat shit, but I don't know. Like, I don't know what part of the year that was. She really felt some type of way about that because she's she's all like uh, what did she say? She said and she has promoted another friend who has knitted hats. No. <laughs> That was so random. <laughs> oh, you might, like his little his little hands though, but you don't like my shit. I shirt. might feel some type of way about that. Like if 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 I label you as my best friend and you don't you don't post my shit and you post somebody else shit yeah. that's in the, that's doing the same thing. Right, that's that's a little disrespectful. You might try to fuck you up. You might got a rumble for that. Like you are rumble about. I'm thinking about it. Don't think she's not supportive. I'm thinking that the best friend is thinking that she is supporting her in some kind of way because why would she be doing all like inviting her to? First of all, if you're not my best friend, I'm not inviting you to my graduation party or graduation. Because you don't get a lot of tickets. Exactly. No, you get like so she must be on some other, you know, maybe the best friend that's graduating, she maybe she doesn't like her stuff and she's scared to tell us. So maybe she should have wrote the letter. At the end of the day, like you can't like we, we, we can't be scared. We can't be scared to tell our best friends the truth. They're the ones to tell the truth. I mean, how does that look if you out with your friend and you're not telling them the truth? Like, I'ma look at you as a snake. You know what I'm saying? Like if you knew something that I didn't know, or if like you knew these fucking brown shoes didn't go with this fucking birthday suit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I could be colorblind. I don't fucking know. You said I took a picture. Yeah, you took the picture. Took the picture. Took the picture. And you took the picture. <laughs> and you put that shit on portrait mode. I did not. And you put it on portrait mode. Yeah, fool. So if y'all got best friends out there, make sure y'all tell them the truth. Like I had a friend. She wasn't my best friend. Her breath smelly. She smelled really, really fucking bad. And I felt so bad that I, I couldn't stomach to tell her. I think she gave me mono. No, shut up for your your lying. Shut up, bro. <laughs> Like she had like shit caked up on her teeth, and how she's a great person. That's his favorite line. Any time you say you a great person, I really mean it. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? Did he tell it? You ain't shit either. No, he can't tell it. He ain't know it like that at the time. He ain't know it like that, but he he got a whiff of the breath. He knew her breath. No, no. Am I exaggerating about the mono part? It's horrible. I'm trying to, but she's a great person. No, she's not funny. She's a great person. If she's funny, that means she's not saying something and then you really got to smell her. No, no. She don't get You know who your first date going to be? To the dentist. No. My first what? Yeah. No, I'm not going to date for her. What? Wow. <laughs> you want to dick her in the summertime? I don't even, all I, all I got is the halitosis of the past from people who had stinking breath all of a sudden just in my, my memory.
I just wish all y'all could have felt the pain I felt when I saw that. I'm like, so genuine. No, no, Greg, no, Greg, no. So the question is, did you tell her? Right. I just said I couldn't tell. What can you say to somebody? He uncensored or not? No, no, no. I wasn't. No, no. I wasn't uncensored. She know. Come on. She know. She know. She smell it too. Come on. No. When you like, it's it's like it's like a whole. Damn, Lauren. Wait, 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 wait. If I have a question, you ever suck dick in your Oh, 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 oh that's me. I'm not even deep water. 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 I'm not even deep
Um, sex. You know, anything. We talk about shit all the time. So. Sex. Sex. Which I love. So we're going to play a little game. But it's called Would You Rap? So you have an A and a B. I'm going to ask them a oh, question. Oh, shit. I need to look at this. <laughs> no, you need to start it. So I'm going to say a question. You're going to put either A as your answer or B as your answer. It's simple. Hold in the air. I need everybody to participate. <laughs> Don't upset your this is, for, this is for the males and the females. The, I mean, the four males in here. And the <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's would you rap? So you have to pick one. Here we go. It's, it's not too bad. All right, so first one, guys, like this one. Would you rather have phone sex or would you rather send a new video or a new pic? Wait, you gotta say what? Oh, a is phone sex, B is a new video, new pic. A is for phone sex. B is for send it up. Oh, oh. Lauren says. I'm wondering. 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 I'm
For men and women that's been married 20 plus years, got a divorce, they really not trying to do that fucking marriage thing again. Right. He's trying so, to fuck. It's, he real, it's real. It's a real gay type sex type thing, yeah. and, and and that's that. But there's nothing wrong with that. I, you tried to marry. But young guys work. treat you like queens when you're when they you're do. Oh, they, they, they do. Treat you like yeah. queens. They do. Like, 
Listen, listen, it depends. Hold on, hold on. No, I don't want to do it. No, it depends on, it depends on the actual female because you, because you might get a female. You might get a female. Hold on, y'all. I need all of all the spitters. I need all the spitters to shut up. Tell them to my talk. You should have swallowed whatever you're about to say. No, don't be nothing. I'm sorry, it's all late. I'm sorry. So listen. Oh, oh shit, my bad. Damn, I disrespected two times. It depends on the female because if she if, if she's already a swallower. What you gotta understand, like with us men, is more of a visual thing. So right. if she swallowed before, that's okay. Yeah. And if she don't swallow, you you know you busting her mouth and if she spit it out, that's that's still cool. But uh, to me, it doesn't even matter. I mean, I, I mean, I, I wasn't. So what do you rather with a woman? I wait a little bit so you can you know get your shit on. Hey, <laughs> If she don't swallow, you're going to be like, well, she ain't shit. If she don't swallow, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I Either way, you came and you got your dick sucked. Right, right. But swallowing means so much because you swallow, you swallow some of me. So, so you want to feel special. You want to feel special. You want to feel special. Then you can be my mother. Oh, all right, so would you rather someone who comes quickly or someone who would never make you come? Oh, I want to play that. Come back. 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 Come Entrepreneurs in here, so um, you know, once the show's over, make sure y'all mingle. We got um, we got massage therapists in here. We got people who um, uh, interior decorators, designers. My homegirl back there, she got, like, she got her own convenience store. What? Yeah, yeah. Right. I'll be back there get some of that soul food. Black owned convenience store. So um, it's a lot of people in that's that's doing a lot of things, and we all are black. So I appreciate all y'all who who um, came out. Um, tonight. Mm -hmm. So, we're about to get into the lovable asshole of the week, and my lovable asshole of the week are always, well, not always, but <laughs> this week is the uh, passenger seat driver, the <laughs> motherfucker that <laughs> never, no, he not even can drive, but he never drives and always trying to tell you a shortcut, <laughs> trying to tell you where to fucking go, how fast you going. You, you don't got a car, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> Right, right here. How you know how to bang a right right here? <laughs> they had a car at some point. When do you drive? Like, so, 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 slow down, slow down. Do you tell your lift driver to slow down? <laughs> you don't tell that 48 to slow down. You know what I'm saying? So all you motherfuckers that don't drive, can drive, or don't got a fucking car, and you're in the car with somebody who has a car, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> and shut the fuck up. We ain't got, we ain't got time for y'all bullshit. Listen, so, they good for some shit. The passenger seat driver? No. Not, not none of my passengers. They're both of the songs. The no, you don't touch my fucking no. radio. <laughs> <laughs> I need some radio. You got your own place. <laughs> 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 
I'm sure like, I'm sure like, I got one person in here that loves her about shit the fuck up when she's not supposed to. Oh, I hate that. That's true. That's true. I'm like, this ain't the song I want to hear. Chill out. Yeah, you got you got to be a good uh. Wingman. It's not a lot of good wingmans out there. So I'm a good wingman. It's not a lot. Of we go out. I'm not a good wingman. Yeah. Oh, listen, look. I'm not. I'm not bashing the females, but I'm here for the bullshit. <laughs> that's what I gotta deal with when I work with two fucking females. Mm. But that's why to all the fellas that I pointed out to the I, four, the four <laughs> plus Hector and Tyler. Hector don't count. He work with us. But you a fucking dude. <laughs> Los, if you got some big words that's gonna save me if I need some help, I drop drop them. Drop the bombs on them. You're I'm here. Oh, uh, but this is this no, this question's for everybody. Yeah. And and this is for women. This is not a shot at women, but some of y'all may know women like this, or this may be you yourself. So <laughs> <laughs> So why why do women who claims to bring everything to the table, why are most of them single? Mm -hmm. That's a good wait, wait, wait. Why are women? Why are women? Ain't nobody good enough for us. So, so, I'm Los, I, Los, thank you. I'm gonna let you come up and answer first. Yes. Yeah, come here. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I'm about no, to no, no. This, this is a question for everybody. No, no, no. You can go first. Cause a guy, a guy can answer this. All right. I'm getting married on July 4th. Oh, you are? Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on. He said getting married July 4th. Black man. All right, I'm an artist, right? So, you know, like I know, this nigga has jobs like a Jamaican. Like, this nigga's working. Trust me. I don't know what that and mean, but I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> don't panic, don't panic. Don't be rude. I'm not that respect. I got two jobs, actually. You go to Montego Bay, nigga, yeah, at the resort, yeah. nigga, you know, he making your curry, yeah. he making your goat, yeah. he the security guard, <laughs> cab driver, and he the nigga that clean the pool, exactly. so she know what the fuck you talking about. The black woman goes through a lot of shit on okay. earth, right? Okay. A lot of shit. Now, the black man do too, yeah. but we supposed to inherently be the protectors. So we, we shouldn't really have a lot of advocates because we supposed to be the protectors. We supposed to inside of us be the advocates so black women can be demanded and if they going through all the white man's gambit of fire hoops and fucking electric fences of fucking getting social building and then they start popping and they making a six figures a year which my lady is and then a lot of women i fuck with have and i've never oh, except when i was oh, in the okay. streets oh, excuse me. when i was in the streets okay, <laughs> You know, but I think a lot of dudes don't deal with conflict resolution well. They don't deal with, they don't deal with, Talk about it. They don't deal with recognition of roles well. And they don't deal with role reversal well and like accentuating each other. Like the yin and yang element. Like, hey, in, in a certain facet of perceiving shit, I'm supposed to be yang. But right now my position is to put a yin. But I want to yang out and she's telling me no nigga, it's yin time. <laughs> People want to get angry at that, so they can't accept that. So the next woman that come, it's like, no, nah, bitch, I'd rather be with nobody as bitch down the bottom or whoever, wherever. You know what I mean? No, no, I'm just saying, like, down the bottom of the totem pole. Like, as opposed to, I'm not talking about down the bottom of Philly. I'm from the bottom, nigga. I'm from the bottom, like, Don't do that. Don't do that. Wow, you don't got more respect close than that? But, um, yeah, I just think, I, I just think a lot of times, we have ego issues, and we as men, women, or both. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a unilateral answer. Like that means all of us, all of us. Definitely. But I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking in regard to women. A lot of times, a lot of times, they're indecisive, and then the twist is the niggas that's up. The niggas that's up in shit, shit. Okay. If y'all think y'all okay. right, I know these niggas. These niggas ain't shit, and they paint the best picture. Shit looks so good. And that's string, that's string you along. And, and then here go, but here go the caveat, right? Some women, I leave a lot of like live, thorough, like working class 
durl niggas alone because they waiting for that on paper nigga. Okay. So, so that's another yeah. issue. But so I just want that that's me. I can I can I can have some posing on this, but I'm done. I love it. We like it too, love. Hey, I'll give it up for the educated brother from Morehouse. Hey. Right in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so anybody else got something to say about that? Anybody else want to come up? Female. Yeah. We need a female to tell us why we single, that we got everything we bring into the game. Ladies, I know a lot of women in here with their entrepreneurs. They got their shit together. They got houses, and they cars, got no and are single. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Because I feel like you're going to talk shit. I ain't saying, I'm not going to talk shit. Here's my thing. I just feel like... <sighs> You know, we, we bring shit, we bring things to the table and we want men to step up, right? But they are scared to once they find out what we have. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they, they allow, if I'm not gonna let shit just go to the wayside, so I'm gonna end up doing that role because you're not stepping up to it. So I want you to plan a date, right? I want you to make the plans. I want you to call. I want you to do all that. But if you don't, I'm probably going to do it. Mm -hmm. But what ends up happening you said is... if you don't, you're probably going to do it? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I want this shit to happen too. Mm -hmm. The fuck? I ain't going to wait around for no, you. Yeah, that's not what I want. I don't want to do you look No, I agree with you. There's nothing wrong with that. But I feel like what ends up happening, because I know for me, I I date a lot of men that are not on my level, and I'm fine with that. But I want you to be the man. I think they're scared to be the man because they think that they don't have to be. But no, if you're not going to act like the man, if you're not going to bring nothing to the table, and even bringing something to the table is just bringing sense of security, safety, loyalty, whatever it is, whatever you're bringing, it don't have to be money. Because if my right. shit is right, right, I'm good, right? I got my shit. My shit is good, my home is good, right? Bring the loyalty, come take out the trash, come fix my shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, the shit is good. Um, but like, that's what I need. I think men forget that there's small things that you can do that will show that you're the man of the house. Well, and we want you to be there, but I feel like men are scared to be there with women that are strong. And there's too many of us that are strong that's doing our own shit that we have to settle down because we are strong women. I just feel like that's not fair. We always end up having to dig down for some reason because there are people who tend to <coughs> take those small things to them. Those are bigger things. Right. We mm -hmm. think they're that's all they got. So they end up being... <laughs> jealous of us in some kind of way and then those are the same people who at the same time that they're jealous of us they will try to make you feel bad about being in the position that you're in okay and, and I, I, i'm not even where i want to be but when i was somewhere near there i had somebody that was trying to bring me down don't do my fucking life this is why we can't as a black man be with some you know like you know so that's the i feel like that's the tug of war that we play in the in society period with, with men trying to be where we want to be and then you got to sort of kind of downplay where you are just to try to fit in with everybody else. I feel like we have to always come to the table with more. You see what I'm saying? We have to prove that we are strong women. We got our shit together. We could cook, we can clean, we can wash clothes, we can do all the shit. And then suck dick. Right. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
need your perspective on Don't, this, right? Yo, but, but I want you to do respect. is, I want you to keep in mind the struggle that we said from our point of view too. Before he's not, he's not, the he's not, struggle? What, what, was the, what was the struggle? It's hard <laughs> enough. It's hard out here for a pistol. You ain't even listening to what we said. That's <laughs> no, the people. No, 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 no. yeah. Tell us why we sing. That was well, no, no, no. I, and again, this is this is a monument moment because I agree with what you guys said. <gasps> But, get that one, get you get that one audio double. Well, I, I mean, I, I I agree with that one side you said. You gotta you gotta understand like <laughs> you you just looking at it on on this side. Like you gotta understand like you have somebody, a woman who, who brings everything to the table, Wh whatever the case may be. Good job, her own whatever, she can fuck and all that shit. But do we ever look at ourselves? You know what I'm saying? Like we did all this talk about the man and what he's supposed to do, X, Y, and Z. But do we ever just look at ourselves? You're beautiful. You got a good job. You you got your own business, X, Y, and Z, right? And it, it could be something that's wrong with you. And because I got my own business, my own car, I got all this other shit. Yeah, I'm bringing all this to the table. I lose sight of my bad attitude. Yeah. Or I lose sight of how I treat my kids. And I'm looking at you like, how will you treat my fucking kids? You know what I'm saying? So, so, like I said, I agree with y'all on that surface. But you gotta understand, there are a lot of women out there that bring a lot to the table that is not willing to change some of their bad fucking traits. And that that is the reason why some of the women who bring a lot to the table are fucking single. It has nothing to do with the man doing this, doing that. You got some niggas out there that are vulnerable. You got some niggas out there that, that are willing to change for you. But are you willing to change for yourself? And because I got okay. money, because I'm a single <laughs> When the spirit moves me. Yeah. When the spirit moves me. You better preach. You better preach. I'll preach. So, uh, no, so again. Take I, your time. I, I, I start shouting this bitch. Baby. So, no, like I said, I agree with y'all, but. And this, just, this goes for men too. Like, we gotta look in the mirror. Like, we gotta listen. This we could bring everything to the table. We can fuck good, all that shit. But it it will be one or two things that you need to change mm -hmm. to better your relationship. Mm -hmm. You you have to change it. Like, it's no way you can continue on your life being being uh, a certain type of way because you know it's toxic to you. Mm -hmm. And, it, and it's toxic to that person too. You've been doing it, we've been doing it for so long. You do something for so long, you will never recognize it. Mm -hmm. You know what we recognize it? When the other person do it to us. You be like, yeah. oh! Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right, right, right. Okay. Right. That's how I be? Yeah. I be like that? So you can bring whatever you want to that motherfucking table. I don't give a fuck. You could be the richest woman in the fucking world. Mm -hmm. But you, you know might got two or three kinks that will stop you from getting the man of your life. Yeah. Mm. So oh my, my topic wasn't to bash fucking women because I love all my beautiful black You better. Women. I do. I really do. <laughs> so, you know what I'm gave us a word to Hello. Know. Okay. <laughs> I was, I was at Eni before I <laughs> talked to Walla and everything. That's right. This is what I'm talking about tonight. He broke it down. <laughs> All right, listen, y'all. So we about to get out of here. Um, but before we do, again, we're going to give a shout out to all our sponsors. Right Click Agency, uh, the Vision Venue. Um, the core by core. Um, once again, like I said, it's a lot of people in here that you sit next to that got their own business. They're entrepreneurs. So, you know, talk to them, get to know them. Like, you got a bad back, 
my homegirl right here, she does massages right here. Shantae, she's really shy. She don't want nobody to know. But my motherfucker massages. My homegirl Tia back there, like I said, she got her own um, convenience store. And a lot of motherfuckers be winning off her lottery ticket, so. Okay. Tia! <laughs> hey, Tia! I'm at your Tia. store. <laughs> they be winning off your lottery tickets in your store, right? That's they do. That lottery machine is hot. See, you can go to the, go to the black convenience store <laughs> and win $40 off a dollar scratch. Ah. Um, so, I want to thank Tyler. I want to thank Kiara. Um, I want to thank the owner of this venue. I got to give a special shout out to my man, DJ Q. Um, I know I know Q since we was in fucking elementary school, and whenever I call him, he's right on time. I want to thank Linnea. Shout out to my man Greg. He had his own um, podcast, Banking on Life. Y'all can watch that every Tuesday. It was at eight o'clock, right, Greg? Um, I'm sorry, I can't see everybody who has businesses in here, and I don't want you to feel no type of way that I didn't. Um, announce what your business is. Shout out to my man James. I just seen you because you light skin. <laughs> <laughs> um, so look, we gonna get out of here. Make sure. Oh, oh, damn! I'm tripping. I'm sorry. Tripping, tripping. I gotta give a shout out to my. I gotta give a shout out to my my my. Heck, are you Puerto Rican? <laughs> 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 Shout out to my Puerto Rican partner, Hector, Water Ice Radio, Unsister Podcast. This is our first show. Thank everybody. This is our last show.